You know, my money's on Ken. I think Roger has a very good knowledge base, but Roger you know, kind of doesn't know when to quit. So part of the reason why we were able to stay in his game, even though I, I think, frankly, he outplayed me, uh, was that he burned through a good four Gs going on stuff. He like, working so much on buzzing in and then realizing, holy crap, I don't actually know what this is. And you know, I think that Ken is much more cautious. Uh, Brad is more aggressive, but you know he can back it up a lot better. So I think it's really between those two. I, you know, anything could happen. But I guess my smart money is on Ken. Having played both Ken and Brad here, uh, I do think they're both just a cut above. I think it depends a little on how the daily doubles break um, because they've all sort of been trying to go aggressive Roger style in the daily doubles yeah. and one of those could you know make it or ruin it for any of them um, but I think the Brad and kind of the edge on buzzer speed for sure. I get the impression that, uh, that Brad is, is even a, a step ahead of Ken when it comes to buzzer. I mean uh, I was able to, to beat him to the buzzer a few times but uh, when, I, when I look at Brad, and I haven't played Brad, I, you know, I see a guy who really is just kind of completely dominant when it comes to, to the buzzer. So I'll vote for Brad. I'm a little bit biased because Brad beat me, and therefore I, in a sense, would like to see him win it because then I can say I lost the guy who ultimately won it all. But I think that uh, Brad and Ken are definitely the, um, the powerhouses in this tournament. I think Roger has a chance, but he has to hope for some good luck on the daily doubles and maybe hope that uh, Brad and Ken spend all their time beating each other on the head and hope he can sneak in. Uh, Brad and, uh, and Ken have some, some certain different gifts in what kind of material they get. Ken is unbelievable on being able to do these interpretation things like syllable words and, and word formation, anagrams and the Roman numerals. Uh, and I think he's got that over anybody I've seen play. Um, and Brad is exceptional at being able to interpret material and uh, figure out what, where the clues go and, and has such a really broad knowledge. I think that Brad and Ken adapt their play to who they play with and they know that Roger is a high risk, high reward. Hello America. And for this tournament and for quite some time for him it's been high reward. He hasn't had any daily double bite him on the, the, the rear end yet. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if he can keep that up, then he, he may be able to do quite well. Yeah, no, I agree. I think where the where those daily doubles fall is going to be a is going to be a big thing. And and yeah, they Ken and Ken and Brad know that what Roger's going to do if he gets one, and that might it's possible that might you know egg them into making big wagers too on hard, something yeah, that they be. you know, and if they if they miss something, then you know it could yeah. hurt them pretty bad. I think it's already affected their play uh, in the in the rounds that they play. They, it seemed like they had it in their mind. Yeah, I think one thing about Roger is that on a number of occasions he's taken a risk and rung in on a question that he's not been able to come up with. And if that pays off for him on a regular basis, that could work for him. But I suspect this might come to hurt him in the the finals. Oh yeah. And when we get to this la this next one, it's going to be something else. It's going to be smoking. They're going to have to replace those buzzers between every commercial yeah. break. <laughs>